Good evening and welcome to this Monday edition of Sports Night. We start with the CFL. As the Board of Governors were meeting in Toronto, representatives from the league's eight teams were debating to who will succeed Commissioner Doug Mitchell. They have two replacements. We have this report from Toronto. Bill Baker and Roy McMurtry were chosen from among some 30 candidates to lead the CFL into the challenging decade ahead. The two-man management team replaces outgoing CFL Commissioner Doug Mitchell. McMurtry, a former Ontario Cabinet Minister and Canada's former High Commissioner to Britain, called his appointment as the CFL's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer an exciting challenge. I've long believed in the importance of the Canadian Football League to all Canadians. I regard it as a very major institution in our country. Baker, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders general manager, and a CFL player for 11 seasons, will serve as the league's president and chief operating officer. I think number one thing that I understand is this, this league plays a, a tremendous role in our country. And its value is something that some of us, not all of us, don't quite understand. I think there's enormous opportunity for us to work together, from Vancouver to Calgary to Edmonton to, to Winnipeg to Hamilton to Toronto to Ottawa, and work very hard and, and have this league perceived as a great organization, which it is. Baker and McMurtry, who will retain his law practice, will officially take office January 1st. McMurtry says their roles will undoubtedly evolve as the two new partners get to know one another better. Uh, clearly I have a very good idea as to, to what the responsibility in general terms of a chief executive officer, that is to accept the day-to-day -day responsibility for the, uh, for the overall management of the league and uh, for policy direction and for undertaking a number of challenges that, that uh, present itself. Uh, Bill Baker is a great football man, will be uh, looking after the day-to-day -day operation of the league, and I'm very confident uh, that uh, he will discharge his responsibilities in a very effective way without too much ad uh, advice from me. But When asked if the league could afford their services, McMurtry's political savvy surfaced. Well, I don't know. I have no idea what, uh, what generous arrangements arrangements the league has made for William, but I know uh, my services are, will come at a very modest price in the interest of all Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Murtry added he took this job as a labor of love. Both he and Baker are convinced it will not be a fatal attraction. One of their first priorities will be to change the public's perception of the CFL and win back the respect and support of Canadians. In Toronto, Fred Anderton, Newsroom 11.